Hello, welcome to Temple Baptist Church here in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Certainly good to be with you and trying to bring a devotional to you today that will hopefully help us uh, in our daily walk with the Lord. We're going to look at Daniel chapter 6 and verses 10 through 23. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to drop down and look at verse 21. Daniel answered, May the king live forever. My God sent his angels and shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me because I was found innocent in his sight, nor have I ever done any wrong before you, your majesty. And then the king was overjoyed and gave orders to let Daniel out of the den. And when Daniel was lifted from the den, no wounds were found on him because he had trusted in God. Now, you know, the story of Daniel there is uh, uh, familiar to all of us of uh, being cast in the lion's den, failing, uh, didn't follow the king's orders. He prayed three times a day to uh, God, just as he always did. And and of course, there was those during uh, World War II. A a Nazi, a Nazi was drafted, and uh, uh, he completed his military basic training, but he refused to take the required pledge of personal loyalty to Adolf Hitler, and the authorities allowed this man to return to his farm, but they later summoned him to active duty. And after seeing what the ideology of the Nazis was up close and learning uh, of the Jewish genocide and all the things that were happening, he, de he decided to, his loyalty to God meant he could never fight for Germany, for the Nazis. And he was arrested, arrested sentenced to execution you know, leaving behind a wife and three daughters and and over the years many believers have uh, in jesus under pearls of death have often affirmed and refused to uh, when commanded to disobey god you know daniel is a a good uh, example of this today when a rule edict was uh, threatened that anyone who who prayed or to any god or human being except the king they're going to be throwing in the lines. And of course, we know that happened. And, uh, you know, but da Daniel discarded his own safety, just as this a Nazi gentleman did, uh, trusting in God. And, you know, he remained faithful three times a day. He got down on his knees and prayed, give thanks to God, just as he'd done before. You know, the, uh, you know, kneel to God and God only know matter the cost and you know sometimes our choices are clear aren't they sometimes they are though everyone around us implores us to go along with prevailing opinion you know and that's what it is through our own reputation and well-being may be at risk we need may we never turn from our obedience to god Always stand for God. Sometimes even at a great cost. And uh, at all we can offer is a firm refusal. I am going to trust God. Are you willing to do that today? Stand for God. There's been generations down, uh, down through time that have given their life because they trusted in God and not some form of of man-made religion are you trusting him today our prayer is that you rely on god that you would trust him in the face of all adversary all things that would happen to you today may god bless you is our prayer come to be a part of our family here at temple we have services sunday morning at eight sunday school classes at nine and worship again at 10 o'clock and in Sunday night services at 6 and Wednesday night at 7, you're welcome to all of our services. May God bless you.